What's happening guys? Welcome back to the last story. Well last episode vows between Callista and Zell were finally made. Their wedding somewhat official if anything. You never know the wedding laws of the world. There was no pastor or anything. You don't know if there's any religion in this place actually thinking about it. Good place. Good place. But yes there's still more to explore more to do with with the new uh, well kind of I'd say king and queen, but it's more like lord and lady of Z Lazulus Island. Ready to explore their domain. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, my, my dear. Didn't mean to bash into you. I was expecting t a touching scene to appear on the balcony, not where it did. That's for sure. Oh, Zell's room. You took all my treasure! What's <laughs> my... Not that I wanted it. Oh, Zell's room... Uh, Took a fairly big hit compared to Calessa's room then. There's been a lot of damage to your room, Master Zale. Perhaps you should stay in Lady Callista's room for now. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That would literally ferry you into Callista's room for that chapter right there. I can't believe I get to work where Lady Callista lives. Smells like nobility. Probably actually smells like plaster. Also, hands off my woman. So let's head to the balcony and see if we can find a scene. The damage here isn't so bad. Everything will be back to normal soon. That'd be great, thanks. Oh, busy, busy. Wherever I go, there's something to clean. <sighs> it's technically your job, but, you know. It was definitely a shock when I first came here. Who'd have thought lovely Lisa would turn out to be some noble woman? <laughs> it feels like that was a lifetime ago. I suppose this is where our battle started. We've lost a lot. In the end, though... Our dream came true. We have to make that count. We will. Hey, look! You can see the city! Ah, so you can. There's my house! What? Where? See the church? It's just to the left of that. Oh, what a nice little place. Really? <laughs> This is this is this is our balcony. Um, we're gonna open up this whole place. I want this place private. Sorry, didn't actually mean to bash into you. That wasn't uh, out of like rage or anything. So we're seeing the sights, as it were, returning to rooms we had before. I guess there's the courtyard of the castle, but then of course the city is there to explore. What if, for example, the arena has new seasons? An adventure with Seren and Lowell can take place yet again. There's so much to do in this place, Epilogus. It never ends. That's what we're striving to do, to get near the ending. So, where is there next to check? There's the courtyard, there's the military wing. Places like the cannon control room or underground where the outsider's power is, but of course the outsider no longer is there. I'm guessing by the when we let the outsider go that he left his mark with him, did he leave the power with Zell? Because that would be interesting. Zell still has his gathering power after everything, even though the outsider is no longer here. That could be an interesting turn of events. There is however this way to go. Damage on this floor isn't so bad, but I'd still be glad for some help. I'll send some up, Knight, sir. I'm making honest men of you before you, you know, before we continue on. That just reminded me. What about Sir Farius? <sighs> I wish I'd learned the tidying up spell. So this is a room we never visited bar for a cutscene, so this must be the kids being okay that Yurik mentioned. Look at these books! Sorting them's gonna be a nightmare! So why are kids controlling the library? 
Where did Uncle Dagron get to? He said he'd play with me. Oh, I guess he's forgotten. Let's not scar the poor kid. Look at all these books to read. It did say that there was even more stuff to read. It was here on this island that I first met that beautiful sorceress. My search for a way to end the war ravaging this land led me to the rite of celestial summoning. This rite enables its user to call a great force from beyond the sky and make its tremendous power their own. And it is said that only the sorceress has ever succeeded in mastering this rite. The sorceress was once an ordinary human being who lived in a remote, nameless village. After being accused of heresy, she resolved to leave her home behind to protect her fellow villagers from those who might seek to persecute her. In the wake of these events, the sorceress made her way to the still unspoilt Lazulis Island to live a life of seclusion away from the people of the world. It was here that I approached her and proposed to use the rite of celestial summoning, celestial summoning to bring an end to the conflict. The moment was the start of all that was to come. So there's lots of text here to read about stuff. I'm not sure that would be too entertaining for everyone, mind you. The decisive weapon, though. Hidden within Lazulus Castle is a weapon of paranormal power. It is a decisive weapon that effectively harnesses the outsider's tremendous power to destroy all in its path. That's the cannon, then. A power such as this, capable of obliterating an entire mountain in a single blast, must be used responsibly. It should serve solely as a deterrent for the protection of the Empire. This weapon should only be put to use in the very gravest of circumstances where the survival of Lazulus Island itself is at stake. So we use it at the right time, at least. The founder of the House of Argonum very much enjoyed singing a particular song. It is said to have been the favourite song of a woman he once loved. The identity of his beloved is unclear, however one theory claims that she was a famed woman known only as the Sorceress. Now, this song originated in the village where she was raised. So that was the Sorceress talked about in the first book. The song is about pursuing one's dream no matter how many times one may face defeat. It tells of the importance of spreading your wings and flying high together with those dear to you. The central fleet theme of flight in the song appears to represent freedom and hope, along with the ability to grasp them through one's own strength. To the founder of the House of Argonon, who survived the ravages of war and strife to bring peace to the world, this desire must be more precious than all else. So lots of interesting books to read. Where did Uncle I didn't mean to push to? you around, kid. He There's mages up top. Oh, and Yurik in the court. We found Yurik. We've done a hell of a lot, but I think the real challenge is ahead. Especially when I see these kids. We have to make the world something those who died could be proud of. I hope our new ruler is up to it. Hint, hint. Because technically, we're the new rulers. I bet Zell would actually rather, instead of being like the regent himself, the lord himself, would rather be in control of the knight side of things. What you need, though, a man who leads his people in that fashion, rather than just a stuck-up noble. Uh, you might not touch in the. I wonder what would happen if I touch the wall. I bet it doesn't program that in, but whatever. I've got us. So off we go to find more sights and scenes. We found Yurik, but that still leaves three of our party members left. Knights abound. Always carrying chests around. Give me the chest! Master Zell, you're just in time. I found this by the east gate. It appears to be a challenge addressed to you. Dear Zale. Stop killing my mates, you nasty git. Your threshing is waiting for you at the cliff beyond the castle's east gate. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle, so come alone. Alone means no one else. Get it? What on earth? A challenge? The random thing to face. Could it possibly be Zoran? I'm not sure. Killing his mates. So he didn't run away, eh? A reptid, eh? He came in and smashed our place up. We're gonna go totally nuts on you. You said it would be a jewel. Get off that beast, you cheat. Shut up, monkey boy. Today's the day I end you. Well, you possibly will. Run away! Is there any place to slash you from? I don't want to face you in this fashion. Dodge! 
Right. We're getting to that as fast as we possibly can. Oh, you can jump? Well, that's not fair. Hello? What am I doing now? I'd rather fight these guys on foot, to be honest. I'm just running all the reptids down. What on earth's going on? So that's the limit of how far I can go, but now I've gathered all the reptids. Oh my god. I need to get off this thing so I can pick up all the money. Yeah, this was a fair challenge. I mean, uh, first of all, you didn't come alone. Secondly, I ran you all over. Damn it all the hell, I'll be back. We've got a pirate ring for our trouble. Who'd have thought a reptid would leave a note of challenge? It's amazing what randomness we can locate by just looking around. Well, that obviously wasn't one of the main parts we were looking for. So back down to the courtyard as quickly as possible. I never thought a game would have this much of an exploration phase. Was that a side quest we missed during the game? I mean, they did appear kind of weak. There was money on the floor as well and I couldn't pick it up. Think how many reptids died in that encounter then. I didn't even know that just hitting him once would completely knock him off his steed. There's too much of this place to explore in a really quick and fast fashion. But I like to show as much of a game as possible, so it's all good for me. I mean, when you play a game, sometimes it's tempting, of course, for a Let's Player to just do the story, and just the story. And that's kind of good. I think I'll do that for some Let's Plays I do, but for other Let's Plays, it's just fun to experience also the world that it's in. How do you noble folk like my handiwork? I can't even tell it was broken. Oh, it wasn't broken. I'm practicing my plastering technique. Good, isn't it? The <laughs> <laughs> Randomness all the way. Is that Lady Calissa's clothing you have there? I have a request to ask of you. Would you please allow me to make some alterations? Upgrade it? Oh, wow. So we can upgrade it to be actually good? Plus 7 HP recovery while hiding. Increased damage reduction from barrier. Sounds nice. How much can we upgrade it? Okay, we required items for upgrading further. But look at that upgrade. Defense. What? An indigo thread. Look at that. 360 defense. 400 M defense. Nice. Gnome silver is no problem for me. Silver thread for the next upgrade. So you can literally upgrade these things a crazy amount. Of course, you can't get your bonuses until you get whatever these threads are. So either you buy them or they're from playing a next playthrough because there is a second playthrough in this game. So literally now, I mean, if I equip it to her, it, it doesn't have very much defense for her, so she'd become uh, well, very easy to knock down, let's put it that way. Her defense goes down a little bit, even with the Calissa's ball gown, but the other one, it's like the magic defense goes up quite nicely in exchange. What's she currently wearing, actually? Does it heavy armor six? So we remember that. That's her in a ball gown. And her in a dress. Lisa's dress, as it were. Mind you, it doesn't really make that much sense for her to be going around in that kind of clothing. There are enough of us to shift all this rubble. 
Sorry, uh, you're doing a good job though. The secret passage isn't so secret anymore. In fact, we can go down whenever we want. The real question comes to where we're supposed to be going next. Maybe it's the military wing, maybe it's the city itself. We can only explore and find more chapters that way. More importantly, I want to find Lol and Seren. Oh, hey there. You want me to improve all that shiny equipment you've got? Wouldn't mind. Leave it to me. Upgrade weapons. Now that's what I wanted to see. Why does that upgrade magic attack? I mean, these are literally, uh... LOL weapons, really. The North Wing, South Wing, and all that. Look at that one, for example. Max Spirit, casting speed plus 50%. So these are pretty nice. But for some reason, I've got Callista wearing non-fully upgraded armor. Which I don't like. Because she can have better looking armor if I do that. As you see, she's gained some armor on the screen there. We've got the Zan Lance as well, which, oh my god, upgrade with a Dragon Fang becomes ridiculous. Didn't we already get a load of them, or was that Dragon Skin? I guess it was Skin. A Nightmare. Well, that's rubbish, isn't it? I thought that was the one that takes away all your HP. Maybe not. We've got ourselves a load of special weapons now. The Witchcraft was one I was interested in upgrading, that's for sure. That seems to be a very powerful caster weapon. It's very high magic attack on it. We don't want to be messing around with this. We want to be getting out there. How did your armor change, madame? Just the uh, skirting, as it were. Peace at last. I wish the general was alive to see it. He'd be glad just hearing you say that. You know what he was like. I want to know as well. I had to close my business as soon as the war ended. At least your family is alive. It's a new age now. Oh, I guess the other one's family died then. Oi! Zay! You might be some hero, but I'm still your superior officer. Don't go getting any ideas! <laughs> Captain McChuckles. Look at this intricate construction. It's giving me goosebumps. Okay, Callista, we're gonna sort that. Hey, careful. There's only one of those. Try not to smash into anything. The guys in special I'm armor are often fever. douches. Who's running a fever? I'm running a fever. I'm running a fever. Can't just force me to keep I working? Can't... That's just harsh. Not one of my friends made it. Damn war. What good is it, eh? Damn right. I'm gonna quit the nights once the repairs are done. Go on a journey. Not a bad idea. I, I completely allow that. Man alive, this is tough. But it is. I want to visit General Asfar's last standing place, you could say. And then there's, of course, finding Farius. Finding Lol, Seren, and Rani, and finding out what their future plans are. I believe in. 
What was that? Oh. I'm just thinking about General Astar. The General died wishing for peace. We have to fight to protect that now. We will. We'll follow the path we believe in. Sucks that he died all in all. In this war, us knights learned just how powerless we really are. We couldn't protect our master, the people, anything. We were useless. I shall do everything I can to improve and to honor the memory of General Asfar. I know I always pronounce his name wrong as General Asfar instead of Astar. Oh, I'm stuck. I wonder if we should even bother to repair this wall. It's positively ancient. This cannon requires a special type of magic in order to operate. We won't have that technology anymore. It's a shame. I don't think we need the cannon anymore. The cannon control room, the cannon control itself was this way. So let's see if that triggers anything. This cannon's time has come to an end. Maybe I'll retire too. No more bullying people with our military. I'm sure a better time is coming. Yep, you're right, sir. No more need for war and the whatnot. Sorry, Callista. Just had to open this door here. So, guys, I'm going to leave it here for this episode and try and find out what exactly we're doing next before bringing you the next one. So that way, I can bring you everything we need to know from the epilogue and finish the game properly. So thank you guys for watching this episode. We've had a sightseeing tour of the castle. There should not be much left now. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you around.